Cravante, uh, ready to get goofy, my guy, for the first time in 2024. And uh, we did a Recap of 2023, if you want to tell the people about that as well. Oh, snap. Well, um, guys, well, uh, I did, this was the, the first time I believe I've done, well, since I've been doing uh, Goofies of the Year, where a late entry got into the top three. Um, it was, uh, well, you know, obviously the Commanders was the, <laughs> was the, the the goofiest of the goofy of the year but um russell wilson russell wilson and um sean payton made, made the uh made the top three um on a late very late very late entry and um i i, I just didn't like i didn't like how the denver broncos handled and sean by sean payton, i mean sean payton representing the denver broncos because Asking a guy to restructure his contract, is his injury clause or his contract or whatever, is crazy. Like, Russell Wilson has one of these few contracts that's, like, completely player-friendly. And why would he adjust that? And for the Denver Broncos to ask that and say, if you don't, you're fired. Like, basically, you're fired. <laughs> or or, or you're, you're going to be benched. Okay, whatever. Russell Wilson did exactly what he was supposed to do. Take that money. I think at the end of the day, I think it's 142 mil that he's going to get from Denver, basically to leave and or not play. I just thought that was just that that was um <clears throat> that was a uh, completely completely goofy. Um, and but my my other one, I, I had one more. Oh, you had John Morant, who unfortunately is off for the season after today's news and i said i guess i gave him a kiss of death i said don't be surprised if they make the plan and they get hurt yeah. damn so yeah y'all remember john Morant's goofiness um last year his uh multiple <laughs> suspensions and multiple instances of being goofy on top of goofy doing the same goofy stuff over and over again with his gunplay his uh altercations and all the other stuff so that was just a quick recap of, of uh goofies of the year make now, sure you guys check that out let's get to goofy because for the first time in 2024 he makes his return to the flex on pockets oh my gosh something wrong here <laughs> well now that's goofy all right all right all right um i'm not gonna try to keep you guys. We're going. We're coming in on a, a ninety minutes uh, into the show, so I'm gonna try to. Uh, I'm not gonna try to keep you. I'm not gonna keep you guys too long. Um, I'm gonna try. Uh, I'm gonna try something different for year ten. Um, do some revamping and some doing some things a little differently. So um, I'm just gonna talk about uh, uh, the levels of goofiness. Um, I'm still thinking about what changes um what changes I want to make but I'm gonna get away from well I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna see where it goes see how I feel about uh, feel, see, see how I feel about things um I'm gonna get away from the cards and try and uh, try something different um so yeah know yeah I know I typically do sports but my gosh. We've been gone for pretty much three weeks, and a lot has been going on. Um, so my goofies are actually non-sports related, but I still have my same levels of goofiness. We've got the high-level goofy and the low-level goofy. Um, and these, the but both of these instances are like very, very high-level goofy for two different reasons. Um, Y'all already know low-level goofy. Um, we typically laugh about it. We kiki, we laugh, and in the hopes that it does not become a higher level of goofiness. But God damn it, when you reach the level of goofiness, where it's like, I feel like we've gone too far. We have to congregate. We have to get together to to, to figure out why this is so goofy, and what can we do to make it ungoofy. So, a couple things. Um, I don't know if y'all are aware, but we had a track star 
uh, an all-world athlete in court recently. Yes, that's right. He was in court recently. Um, Byron, I don't know if you have any pictures. <laughs> or Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> How zesty he is right there. No, no. Go play, play that back one more time. Um, yo, uh, oh. the, he he dove like the Undertaker <laughs> over the top rope, and then look at this zesty one right here. <laughs> 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 hey yo, hold on. <laughs> My man ain't been to fight a day in his life, yo. Yo. <laughs> but that's what it, it's just him right here. Like what is look what it is. Oh, uh, so <laughs> oh, play, yeah, this, play, 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 yeah, this, play, 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 Oh. <laughs> he had a lot. He had some spice to it. Just, <laughs> hey, <bye. laughs> hey, Dre, you said he was zesty. <laughs> look at that. Oh, look, look, look. <laughs> hey, yo. Y'all know me. <laughs> I'm dangerous. Hey, I'm going to get on something. <laughs> Y'all know me. I'm dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> make, sure, make sure you clip this. Hey, what was that? What was that? Y'all know me. I'm dangerous. Hey. <laughs> 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 That is, uh, if you don't know that clip, uh, we had that a while. I haven't really seen, but that is, uh, that is uh, Tank Davis, oh. Baltimore Zone. Tank Davis. Uh, I'm about to go rob something. Just look at him. Look at him. I know me. I'm dangerous. Oh my god! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. My stomach hurts, bro. Hold on. Hold on. Y'all didn't notice the zestiness in him. Uh, yo, no, like, like, bro. Like, this is a little I'm, funny right here, the dive. But this is up. what kills me, though, right here. Get him, what get him. What are you doing? Uh, uh, get him, <laughs> Who are get you him, right? get him, get him. <laughs> I'm about to go rob something. <laughs> Y'all know me. I'm <laughs> dangerous. <laughs> 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 Look at the zesty Wait. one right here. Wait. <laughs> Stop. 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 <laughs> Stop it. You're stupid. You're stupid. Stop it. <laughs> You're stupid. Oh my gosh. So I, I wanted to get the the, the, the the a woman's name. Uh her name was Mary. Uh Hulka. <laughs> oh my god. no idea when she woke up that morning had no idea that she was going to be tackled into another dimension she had no idea what was coming i don't even think the brother um and his name was uh is, is it diobra I, I don't know if i pronounced it right but his last name is, is reading um his, his first name is d-e-o-b-r-a um so yeah d uh we're gonna say d d redden 30 30 years old has a has a rap sheet and um he was uh <laughs> <laughs> he, he he looked he seems as though he's gone before this just before and he seemed really familiar with him and he played it to get off what or what have you apparently his rap sheet said otherwise and she was like nah you going back to jail and he lost it 
my gosh. Dre, we were talking about this earlier. He was the he he had to have been an all world athlete. Like he could have did a lot of a lot of uh a lot he could have participated a lot in the track and field out of the game. He could have did the long jump. He could have done the hurdle. And he could have done, oh, my gosh. Wow. Yeah, somebody and, mute up background noise. Uh, and he could have done the pole vault. <laughs> because, my gosh, when I tell you he cleared the desk, he did not touch that desk one time. He hit all judge after that. And he looked like he formed Capwater. I don't know about y'all, but he looked like he probably could have played a little football too. But unfortunately, he's used his powers, his God-gifted abilities for evil instead of good, which is why he's in a situation, situation that he's in. My gosh, he is a talk of all the cell blocks right now. He has to be. He has to be. Um and and I, I tried to do a little research. Um, those benches are can be anywhere between fifty to maybe about fifty six inches high. We're talking four and a half feet. He completely cleared it. Completely cleared it. Whole body, not not a leg, not a thigh, not a calf, not a foot. Touched that bench, and he connected. With shoulder to her chest, yo, it's crazy. And then Dre happened to point out the the uh, the brother in the back getting his uh the zesty his, one. His, <laughs> stop! Right, stop! stop. <laughs> it's a stop! Look at the flick of the wrist. Hey, Rod, you said stop, stop. Every time you hit it, you said stop. I'm about to go rob something. <laughs> Yeah, no me. I'm dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over it. We get out. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. All right, last one. Byron, that you made that take a lot longer than it had to. <laughs> God dog it. All right, last one. Um, so y'all y'all have heard uh Cat Williams got folks out 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 the bag. Yo. Oh boy. Cat Williams out here telling all. Telling all. Now, what makes this goofy is not that he's telling all. Because Cat Williams is living in his truth. And he he feels though he got called out. So he was here to set the record straight. And mind you, shout out to Uncle Shay Shay. From Club Shay Shay, um, bringing Cat Williams onto his podcast, and shout out to the his his, his cognac, Dre, his Sh Uncle Shay Shay's cognac. Hey yo, wow, Mr. Potato Head for real. His uh, Dre, <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Shay's uh, the yak. alcohol. His, his the cognac yak. is is going to sell very well. On top of bro, it, it, it's already hard to get a bottle, man. Shoot, I, I'm trying to get a bottle, so Uncle Shay, man, Shay if you're listening, man, listen, Uncle Shay, please, we we send free stuff or at least send discounted stuff, cause man, we got to get our hands on that because that 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 alcohol had cat deal deal spent. The receipts was flying. It 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 was a Rite Aid Walgreens. CBS receipts that he had back to back to back to back. And what makes this goofier is that the people, most of the people that he was talking about responded to him. Which is, which is, um, gives more calls, which gives us, uh, it's more entertaining, but also gives us more calls to pause because I was already inclined to believe him. But now the way everybody came out, and it almost it almost seemed strategic, because it's like they kind of came out back to back to back to back. 
it, it, it looked kind of crazy. And gra granted, it could have been genuine, but we're dealing with Hollywood. Ain't that right, Rod? So it probably ain't too much genuine over there. So, um, <laughs> yes, that, that, that's shout out to the cognac, uh, by, uh, by Uncle Shay Shay. But Cat Williams broke the internet. My man, D, D Ridden broke the internet by doing some really outrageous things to start off 2024. This is the wildest outside of the year when, uh, the, the the Donald Trump thing on January 6th when they, they stormed the Capitol. <laughs> Outside of that, this is the craziest way we've began the year. Like very, very, Trump. very rocky. And we're talking about four days. We talk about four. We wasn't even a week into the new year, into January. And Cat Williams out here handing out receipts. The brothers hurtling um over the judge's bench and cold hit her and i heard she got a lot of stitches by her and i don't know what the number was but i heard she had quite a few stitches 25 i believe or 22 something like that jesus my gosh she probably doesn't have to work another day in her life <laughs> oh my gosh mm, mm, mm. But um, what a way to start off 2024 with a bang in the entertainment world. Yet, there, there's still more to come about this Cat Williams. Like, it's not over. It's not done. He talked about several other comedians, such as Ricky Smiley, such as Entertainer, Steve Harvey. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Your girl. I'm sorry, I just had to put this up there because this happened while we were gone. <sighs> and um, he he was talking about several of the of and Kevin Hart, of course, several of you guys, some of y'all favorite comedians, and he was airing out dirty laundry, and we are here for all of it. Cat Williams, keep, keep speaking your truth. I can't wait to his next special. If he's, um, if, if there is going to be another one, it, it has to be another special coming out. Anytime it I think something it's coming happen, out. It's yeah, coming. We, we, we need all that. We need all that. And I don't care whether it's on Netflix, Hulu, mm -hmm. Peacock, I needs all parts of that. All parts. So that's it, guys. Those are my goofies. Um, Goofies of the week, uh, Mr. Cat Williams, um, airing out the goofiest and goofy of dirty laundry, and Mr. D. Ridden from uh, Law oh no, so it was the actual Las Vegas courtroom. So it not only was it in Nevada, it was Las Vegas as well. Um, turning things up in the courtroom, the, the courtroom ain't been that lit since OJ, okay? <laughs> it has not been that lit since OJ, let me tell you. Um, for two completely different reasons, but nonetheless, a courtroom ain't been that crazy, that crazy list since, since OJ. So, um, like I said, whatever jail, whatever jail prison or whatever D written is, is in, boy, they getting a kick out of this. <laughs> they are getting a kick for those. I don't know. I, I've heard some, some folks in, in the jail system got TikTok, they got phones and stuff. They got access to the internet. And Wi-Fi and all that good stuff. TikTok got to be blowing up for whatever jail he in. I, I it, 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 it can only be crazy. Only be crazy. But nonetheless, those are my two goofies of the week. Those two situations, goofies of the week. Y'all know my line. There's a thin line between goofy and great. And these guys got, these guys and situations are on the wrong end of it. Got to do better, guys. Got to do better. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Something wrong here. <laughs> well, now that's goofy. <laughs> maybe, I'm about to go rob something. I was going to say, you got me. I'm it. dangerous. <laughs> I'm about to go rob something. <laughs>
Y'all know me. I'm dangerous. You gotta be. I'm about to go rob something. Who was that? That was not that. Y'all know me. I'm it dangerous. That was dangerous. That was. Yo, you, yo, he's got to be in there for being extra zesty with that.